All right, welcome back to State of the Franchise Gaming, and today this is going to be a bit of a unique episode, um, just in terms of how I play it. Um, I will basically be controlling the first, not sorry, first. I'm going to be controlling four batters one time through the lineup and only pitching five innings. It's based off of. I'm going to have to show you guys how I do the schedule. Anyways. Uh, we'll just jump into the game. Uh, Madison Bumgarner, 1-1 one in one five starts, 5.17 ERA, 1.15 whip, 14 Ks to four strikeouts. First batter he faces is Rymel Tapia, 202 average, and he's going to hit this kind of flow to the left. Cole Calhoun will make the catch for the very first out of the ball game. Starting around for the Rockies. Uh, Tapia, Hampson, uh, Blackman, Story Bag Cleanup, Crone, Elias Diaz, Chris Owings, Elorris, uh, Montero, and the pitcher, John Gray. Garrett Hampson batting 167. The speedster pops it up right in front of first base. And the catch is going to be made easily by Christian Walker, one of the candidates for April Player of the Month. Next up, Trey Blackman, five home runs, six RBIs. So he's not really driving in any runs any other way outside of the long ball, but he's still a dangerous threat at this point. Still in his career, hit the left field, liner right at Calhoun for the second, for the third out, his second out of the inning. All right, we jump into the next inning, but first we'll take a look at the Colorado Rockies starter, John Gray. 0-3 record, 4-1-0 ERA, 26 innings, 36 hits, 15 strikeouts, 175 whip. Again, as I told you, I will only be controlling four guys in the lineup, and those four will actually be at the bottom of the lineup. Um, I will only pitch for five innings. It's part of... Again, I'm going to have to explain. I, it's what I consider a limiter episode where I only, you know, either hit and, uh, and pitch a certain amount of times within a game. And it's a, a little bit of a, a kind of a line drive to right. I know I sound a little out of it, but anyway, here is the starting lineup for the Diamondbacks. Kelly, Walker, Escobar, and LaCastro are the normals. Rojas is at third. Calhoun is in left. Haven Smith in right and Cattell Marte in center. Here's Elias Diaz, the steal from Story, the throw. Not in time. He picks up a stolen base. Trevor Story, kind of with a complete package type player, which could explain why the team is probably going to trade him. Right. Diaz with an 0 2 count. Bum gunner. It's a chopper to second. Escobar scoops and fires the first. Story to third. Two outs. Chris Owings, 250 average, two RBIs. Doesn't get a ton of ABs. Team and Cabrera, come on, you gotta at least reach out for that. It's hit down the line in third. Calhoun fires in the second. It is not gonna be in time. Colorado takes a one nothing lead. And this ball is hit to right field. It is going to be caught by Paven Smith for the final out of the inning. Colorado takes a 1 0 lead off of a Chris Owings double down the line. Don't get your beard dirty, bro. Alright, we'll continue this on. You can tell Marte at the plate. And he gets on with a single. Calhoun batting behind him. Flies out. Marte still at first. Paven Smith. Again, I will bat. I will bat with four batters in the lineup. It'll happen to be the last four in this. Just because I want to bat with Bumgarner. There's a fly out the center. Two outs. Tapia making the catch. Josh Rojas. Not getting, again, no guy was not getting a ton of ABs. Um, but, you know, this team does have a lot of versatile players. A lot of guys have been playing multiple positions. In fact, Christian Walker normally is a right fielder, but I have him at first. Peyton Smith also plays first in right field. Fly ball to the left. It is going to be an out. 
Chris Owings making the catch to end the inning. You know, I like the fact that we have guys that are versatile, but they're like nobody's great at any one thing. Fly ball to left, second out of the inning. Bum garbage pitching well despite giving up a run. Which, you know, is really all we ask for. You know, keep it close. Keep it close. Hopefully the offense can come through. Um, I did experiment a bit with playing with classic pitching. And, wow, Calhoun has gotten like five or six outs this game. Uh, maybe it's Corinthians. Maybe it's not. Nice reach and grab there. Backhand at that. Yeah, nobody is great at any one thing, and maybe that, maybe that's not the worst thing in the world. But I feel like we might need to get a player that's great at something. And Kelly hits a fly ball right center field gap. Running back is Tapia. He is going to make the catch. Great running grab there from Rymel Tapia. Not the fastest, not the greatest center field, but hey, he's a, definitely a solid, solid guy out there. Madison Bump going up. What I, what I think is the highest batting average on the team, though, you know, he's a pitcher. Limited ABs. Fly ball to center. And that is honestly the end of all the ABs that I have. Again, I do my schedule via random generator, so what I come up with is what I come up with. I, there will be a future video on that coming up soon, as a matter of fact. And Bumgarner throws the cutter, and it's a fly ball to right. David Smith running into the shadow and back into the sun to make the catch. That's got to be a difficult play. Like, you see the ball run way, then whoop, the light changes the way it looks, and hey, you still made the catch. Trevor Story, one for one with a single. Curveball in the dirt. Mm -mm. Not a chance. CJ Crone on next. Or in the batter's box next. Trevor Story, who's already stolen the base, and he is taking off yet again. The fire to Kelly. Kelly cannot throw him out yet again. That is his second stolen base of the ball game. He is definitely controlling the game with his bat and his legs. He is safe on the pickoff attempt at second. CJ Crone, former LA Angel, acquired for only a million dollars, hits off. Kind of a pop up into the right field. It gets down. Baven Smith fires and he does not have the arm strength. Colorado takes a 2 0 lead here in the fourth. Up next for Colorado, the catcher. Here's Elias Diaz, 1 and 1 count, runner at first. And it's a pop up in the infield. Bounces in front of Bumgarner. Can't tag, can't throw to second. Uh, I get what you were thinking, man, but come on. At least get the out at first. We could have gotten out of this one. All right. In what is basically our fourth out, 2 0 oh, count. Chris Owens at the plate. Bumgarner. Oh, this ball skip, skips right past Cabrera, rounding third. Fire to second. Nobody there. 3 0 Colorado. Pitching is not really doing what we needed to do. Defense is kind of playing like a physical, especially in the infields. Come on, guys. Eloise Montero strikes out on the high outside fastball. And finally get out of this one again. It's only three to nothing. So we still got a shot in this. Right. I will be pitching the fifth and the offense. All right, we got a single from Marte yet again, but not anything else. In fact, Marte has both of our hits are only two hits. The pitcher, John Gray, up at the plate, and he strikes out of a sweeping curveball high in the zone for Bumgarner's third strikeout. Ryan Motapia, 0 for 2. Leadoff hitter, grounds it right back up the middle, past the diving Le Castro in the center. Rockies have yet another base runner, and the speedy Garrett Hampson is batting right behind him, and Bumgarner's falling behind 2 and 0. I will admit, I stated. Was playing classic, uh, pitching. Oh, come on. You got to turn at least one. What the hell are we doing out here? Like, defensively, we're like a top five team. Like, this is at least fielding percentage-wise. Come on. Charlie Blackman at the plate. And he hits this to center. Marte. Oh, he hits <laughs> off the ground. Throwing the third. 
and it is in time due to hesitation base running a lucky throw I gotta admit uh, CJ Crone on deck Trevor story at the plate three one count he's expecting something over the plate blast one to left center field cap running back is Marte and he's actually gonna make the catch and with that that is the last of me playing gameplay wise Simba Castro shortstop infielder he plays some outfield too he had seven multi-hit games in the month of April and is tied for first in stolen bases in the National League Next up, we've got Christian Walker, who leads the team in RBIs with 14. He's tied for first with home runs with four, including guys like Carson Kelly and David Peralta. Uh, has a 12% walk percentage and is batting 345 with runners in scoring position. Next up, the aforementioned David Peralta. His slash line consists of 302 in a batting average, 337 on base percentage, 479 slugging and is fifth in the National League in doubles with nine. For pitchers, remember we're voting for both position players and pitchers, so I expect to see two names down there in the comment section. We've got Ryan Bookter, relief pitcher, two and one, which actually leads the team and wins. Um, tied with like one or two other people, a 1.46 ERA and 13 appearances. Stefan Crichton. He is tied for second in the National League and saves with nine. And lastly, Zach Gowan, fifth in the National League in strikeouts and has a 2.43 fit. All right, what you just saw were the April players of the month candidates for pitcher and uh, position players. Again, you, you vote by uh, commenting down in the comment section uh, for both a position player and a uh, pitcher, as well as what system you'd like the $25 gift card, either Xbox or PlayStation, which I am giving uh, out during the uh, quote-unquote May 7th um, Mets game, first game of the Mets series. So, you know, do so below. Anyhow, all right. Chris Owens gets on last, Diaz the second, John Gray will step up to the plate, though he'll probably be pinch hit for he does not. Base is loaded and we're able to get out of that one. Tim McCasher at the plate, can't get on base. Escobar also can't either, striking out. Fly out by Christian Walker, Alex Young is now on the mound. Garrett Hampson the first, pickoff attempt no good. Blackman the first, Hampson, Hampson to third. And Trevor Story at the plate, he walks, bases loaded, no outs, fielder's choice, no run scores, strike out, wow. Alex Young, oh man, gets a, gives up a walk, 4 nothing. we'll go to John Lopez, Ellerice, uh, actually grounds out, another ground out on our side, a fly out, the Arizona offense is just, just dead. This is nothing to show for, this is ridiculous, come on guys. Another single, the ninth hit of the ball game. Rojas flies out. Kelly grounds out. A single by the relief pitcher. I didn't even expect the bat. And a ground out ends it. That might have been a wasted AB. Strikeout by Story. A solo home run to make it 5 nothing. A ground out. 10 hits, 5 runs for the Rockies. Oh, a pop up. And this is quickly looking like a L. My goodness. Fernandez hit by a pitch. Walker. Marte. We'll actually take a look as we got a runner on first. Two run pitch is hit to right center field gap. And rounding. Uh, Walker will come around to score. Marte hustling the third. He makes it in with a triple. An RBI triple at that. Do we have a comeback on our hands? Let's see. Cole Calhoun 0 for 3. He's really just got to get a single. I mean, if he gets an out, it kind of suck. 100 mile an hour fastball from Julian Fernandez. Got to remember, he's a hard throwing reliever. Four seamer clocking it at upwards of 100 and 101 miles an hour. Not the best of control, though. And 99 mile an hour fastball. Too low for Calhoun's liking. It'll be ball number one. Again, we've got another game coming up 
against the Rockies as well as we finish out the series. They took game one. This is game two. Fastball, he is just peppering them in there. Not really concerned about any of his other pitches. I don't blame him. The Arizona offense hasn't mustered much uh, fight. High fastball. Damn, 101 miles an hour. If he can control that with any kind of... If he can control that any little bit, man, he, he'd be one of the most dangerous relievers in the league. Still a young dude. And, ooh, slider is ripped down the right field line. Just foul. 91 miles an hour coming out of the hand of Fernandez. Deuce, deuce pitch is a fly ball to right. Running back is Blackman. The tag up by Marte, and he should easily make it home. Five to two, but there are two away. Has the Arizona offense attempted to do something today, but just a little bit too late? We shall see as the Rockies call on Scott Oberg. 6.75 ERA, four strikeouts to the three walks. Ladies are batting 417, but you know our team is a team full of lefties and switch hitters for the most part. Here's Pevin Smith. He is 0 for 3. We just need base runners. Hell, if you can get one out, fine, but ground ball right past first base. Josh Fuentes is not even going to bother with it. Oh, sorry, CJ Crumb. Fuentes has the night off. Day off. 0-1 right. pitch. Too high of the fastball. Robert Stephenson is for some reason warming up, I guess, in case this game gets away from the Rockies. 1-1 one, one pitch. Change up on the outside corner, and Pavin just looks at it. The Rockies are one out away from a win streak, their first win streak of any kind in this season. And it's a grounder right back up the middle, through the legs of the second base umpire in the center. The Arizona Diamondbacks might be doing something here. Josh Rojas is 0 for 3. Can he get a hit? No steal attempt. High fastball coming in at 96 miles an hour. Rojas is 1 for 10. That one hit was a home run. You happen to see, I think, against the Rockies a couple weeks ago in the season. Oh, one pitch. Ah, four-seamer inside fouled off. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Calling for it high. Strike three. The Rockies take this one by three runs. And Arizona Diamondbacks have lost two straight after winning. Hell. Six of the last ten. Seven of the last. Seven of the previous ten before the first two games of this series. There is one more game coming up. Not in this episode, but it's all good. Yo, this is Rumble of State of the Franchise Sports. Again, uh, sorry, State of the Franchise Gaming and State of the Franchise Sports. But remember, comment below if you want to win that $25 gift card. Peace out.